Hello, Matthew from Plugin Everything here. Welcome to the quick start tutorial for Ripple Edit. I'm just going to spend the next few minutes going over each of the functions that comes with the Ripple Edit panel. Let's begin, shall we? We got in point right here. Select a layer, hit in point, and it will shift the start or in point of your layer to the right by one frame. If you hold down shift, it shifts it by 10 frames or until it reaches the out point. If you hold down alt, it will expand it like so, shifting it left instead of right. How is this different from simply dragging? Well, as you might have just saw a second ago, when I shift this to the left, it keeps a consistent start point, making sure that everything to the right of the layer also shifts to the right. Meaning that when I shift the in point inwards, like so, everything shifts to the left, keeping a consistent start point and removing any gaps in the footage that might occur. This can go up to hundreds and hundreds of layers. This works both for shift and alt. Second up, we have close gap. Select two layers for the standard option, like so, and click it, and it'll close the gap between those two layers, much like simply dragging. This is obviously more effective when you aren't zoomed in like I am right now, and you have layers that, you know, each frame is so small you can't even see it on a single pixel when you don't want to have to drag across trying to match those up. One of the other functions this has, which is quite handy, is I can select one layer, hold down Alt, and it'll shift everything to the right over, much like in Premiere, selecting the gap in between these two and hitting Ripple Delete. That will shift everything to the right over, closing that gap in between there. Next up, straight from Premiere, we have Ripple Delete. I select a layer, I hit Delete, it deletes and shifts everything to the right of the layer on the timeline, left, once again, removing any empty space in between. This is basically identical to the one found in Premiere and can be very, very handy for realigning or removing. If I wanted to delete this layer and then I wanted the rest of these layers to also shift over, I'd have to memorize the point. Okay, cool. Delete the layer. Okay, yep. Then unselect this one and then move them over. Now, that wasn't too hard, but now imagine if I had to do that with hundreds of layers or, or even just 10 layers, but I've got a massive timeline that's minutes long. It's, it's painful. We have set to current time or active time. If I select a layer, I set it, it this, it'll do that. It's basically kind of hard to demonstrate. It's like if you would use the Alt and Square space keys like so. The difference is, much like in point and out point, which I'll explain at the end of this tutorial, when you set it to this, it shifts all the layers over by the amount needed. This, uh, but it won't shift all the layers. It'll only shift the layers to the right of the timeline. So if I use this one here, and select it like this, you can see it shifted, it, it expanded the in point out by one and then shifted all the layers, including that layer, over by, right, over by one to the right. If you hold down Alt, it'll work on the out point instead of the in point. Quite simple. Next, we have to comp. This little fancy button here will set it to comp. Real simple, basically identical as doing this on the start and ends of your brackets. However, it's got a fun little function a lot of people don't have, which is trim comp. I hold down Alt and I click this button. It will trim the comp to make sure that it's correct to the bounds of the selected layers. If I, let's say I've got a composition like so, and I don't want to have to drag everything over, trying to match it up and then go to the end and, and you know, set bounds or whatever. I can run out, click, and we're good to go. This is to a frame accuracy. So once again, this is more and more effective as you have larger and larger compositions. One thing I'd like to add real quick is in regards to 2Comp, or at least the alternative function of 2Comp, if you have a layer like this one here that's larger than your composition and you don't want to have to jump into your composition settings and change everything, blah, 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 you can select it, hold down Alt, hit the 2Comp button, and the composition will automatically adjust even if the, com even if the layer selected is larger to make sure that it's bounds match. Very, very handy if you've got footage or clips or whatever that are larger than your comp and you want to be able to fill that. Finally, we have out point. Works identically to in point, shifting it inwards by one or 10 if you're holding down shift or shifting it outwards if you're holding down alt. Alt and shift can be worked together, by the way. The difference is it works on the out point rather than the in point. So you can see it working here like so. So that wraps up the Ripple Edit tutorial, a well, quick start. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you're ready to get uh, down to business with editing. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.